The final item of business is a member's business debate on motion 16374 in the name of Jenny Gilruth on Home Start Glen Rothes turns 21. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put. Can I ask those members who wish to speak in the debate to press the request to speak buttons now? I call on Jenny Gilruth to open the debate. Ms Gilruth, please. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'd like to start by thanking colleagues from across the chamber for supporting um, my motion and by welcoming the representatives from Home Start Glen Rothes who have joined us today in the public gallery. I look forward to seeing you all at the reception this evening. Uh, three years ago, almost exactly a month after I was elected, I visited Home Start Glen Rothes at their Macedonia base. And I will always remember the feeling walking into the community house, one of support and one of empathy and persuasion, because just a few weeks later, I found myself running the Glenrothes 10K in aid of the organisation and the vital work that they do. Homestart Glenrothes was founded 21 years ago, and locally the organisation trains volunteers and experts to support between 60 and 70 families in the area at any one time. Across the UK, 13,500 volunteers support over 27,000 families and 56,000 children. Homestart works across my constituency to support families who are struggling, whether that be because of social isolation, poverty or poor mental health. None of us can predict what life will throw our way, whether that's illness, disability or bereavement. Homestart works to take that pressure off families who are in need. Ahead of tonight's debate, I spoke to Lindsay Brown, our local Homestart coordinator. And Lindsay told me, I'm a great believer in that your postcode cannot dictate what your future holds. We work in Glenrothes to give people opportunities. We have two mums who've just completed their college qualification through a partnership with Fife College, and we have four more with interviews next week. And I know this might sound like rose-tinted spectacles, but it really is our job to help them be the best that they can be. Now, any of you who know Scotland's best new town well might know of Macedonia. There are real challenges in that part of Glenrothes. But there is also a sense of pride and community, which you don't find everywhere. But whilst poverty can be a key driver in terms of who Homestart supports, it's also important to say that supported families can come from all walks of life, and they do. Presiding officer, this is also Mental Health Awareness Week, and it should be said that poor mental health can play a crucial role in tipping families over the edge. And as Lindsay told me, there has been a huge increase recently locally in anxiety and poor mental health, particularly in younger people. That has shifted the focus of Home Start support with volunteers looking at the importance of teaching young people about their own self-worth, for example. Indeed, the team have recently started a mindfulness class. And I think it's fair to say that some had their doubts about how these classes would work originally, but now the mindfulness sessions are extremely well attended because people are starting to see the benefits of investing in their own mental health. But support offered is wide ranging. Another example is that provided by cookery classes to support families. And I am reliably informed that one dad managed to lose over two and a half stone after attending one of Homestart's eight-week cookery programmes in Glenrothes. For someone who was living off takeaways and junk food, he became someone who was finally able to cook for himself. His daughter's behaviour improved, and all of this as a result of just being taught the life skill to cook. In Glenrothes, the Homestart team have also been able to tap into improving nutrition by developing a community allotment. And as a result, they now have access to two raised beds at the back of Glenrothes High School, the produce of which will be used by the whole community. They've also been working in conjunction with the Prince's Trust and Fife College to have the community house's gardens transformed for the benefit of the people of Macedonia. It's fair to say that Homestart are not just a standalone organisation. 33% of all of Homestart Glenrothes' referrals come from Fife Council Social Work Department. And as Lindsay told me, Homestart can get to where other agencies aren't able to because families don't see them as a threat. Homestart offers a tailored approach to each family, giving compassionate, confidential help and expert support without judgment. This is one of the reasons they have such a strong partnership with Social Work Services and the local authority in Fife, where they recognise the importance of the skills that Homestart brings. It's about that partnership. A large part of Homestart's work remains focused, though, on the more traditional home visits which are provided by volunteers. And all volunteers are required to attend a 10-week programme or a preparation course before being allowed access to visit families' homes. These visits are really crucial, particularly in the early days of having a new child, for example. That practical and emotional support provides allows family to maintain their dignity, even when dealing with their own very personal uh, difficulties. And of course, one of the key ways in which the Scottish Government has supported this important time for families is through the baby box. And I hope that all parties uh, across the Chamber can reflect on this policy as having been hugely significant for families in Scotland at a vitally uh, important time. 
being a family and what that means has changed over the last 21 years. Indeed, right now we have a cabinet secretary on paternity leave. I think that sends a really powerful message about 21st century Scotland. When I reflect on my mum's experience of bringing up three girls in the 1980s, she had no choice but to forfeit her career. It was what was expected. We now have a much healthier view of the roles and responsibilities within a family and the work of Home Start supports both mums and dads in doing just that. Across the chamber and irrespective of party allegiances, we all want to see the next generation given the best start they need in life, not just to grow, but to thrive. Home Start has a real focus on early years as those that make the biggest impact. And as they note, children who are raised in a stable, loving family environment are more likely to have a positive and healthy future. And we know those formative years, that zero to three uh, category, are the ones that make the difference. And Home Start make the interventions to support families at that crucial time. Getting it right for every child starts with organisations like Home Starts. It starts by making tiny changes to support families, to teach them how to cook, for example. It starts by giving parents the knowledge to understand what benefits they might be entitled to. It starts with supporting families struggling with poor mental health. Presiding officer, before closing, can I say that Home Start Glenrothes are always looking for volunteers and I would encourage constituents in the Glenrothes area to get in touch if they would like to play their part in supporting the work of the charity. Home Start Glenrothes are based at the heart of the community. The work they do in Glenrothes and beyond is vitally important to families in my constituency and I would like to end by playing, paying tribute to Lindsay and her team of amazing staff and volunteers and I wish them continued success for the next 21 years and beyond. Thank you. Uh, can I say to the gallery, though I understand why you wish to applaud, it's not permitted from the public area. Um, I call Annabelle Ewing to be followed by Alexandra Stewart. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. At the outset, I would wish to congratulate my colleague uh, Jenny Ruth on securing this uh, debate this evening. Jenny Ruth has explained eloquently to the Chamber the important role that Home Start Glen Rothes has played in the lives of countless families over the last 21 years. I would wish to commend all involved, both staff and volunteers alike, and it is good to see them join us here tonight, presiding officer, for this debate. And all I, all I can say is very much uh, echoing Jenny Go Ruth here to the next 21 years and beyond, uh, as Jenny said. Um, as the MSP for Cowton Beath constituency, it would come as no surprise, presiding officer, that I too would wish to congratulate <coughs> Home Start Cowton Beath for all the work that they have done since they first started up in July. 1990, so they are just a few years uh, uh, behind in terms of their uh, celebration of their 21st birthday, and we all look forward to that in a couple of years. Home Start Cowden Beath, uh, which has an office in Cowden Beath High Street, in fact, just diagonally across from my constituency office, serves the area covering Bullingree, Lahore, Cross Hill, Glen Craig, Loch Gelly, Lumfinnans, Kelty, Hill of Beath, Crossgates, and of course, Cowden Beath uh, itself. <clears throat> its focus is on enabling parents and carers to be the best that they can be, recognising that there are a lot of pressures on particularly young parents. Home Start Cowden Beath uh, adopts a very person-centred approach in the family support that they offer, which can include one-to-one -one support around perinatal mental health problems, increasing breastfeeding through local support groups, getting children into the outdoors through, for example, promoting gardening activities, uh, Home Start Cowden Beath also uh, seeks to uh, get fathers involved in uh, anti-natal uh, workshops and in general recognises how important it is that fathers are part of the process from the outset. Home Start also seeks to tackle loneliness and isolation, particularly as far as young mothers are concerned. And groups are run specifically for under 25s to provide a forum where young mothers can chat freely and hopefully gain some confidence. However, it is important to note that home visits remain at the heart of what Home Start does. And after an initial meeting with the family to discuss their specific needs, Home Start will match the family to a volunteer. The help <coughs> given is unique to that family and will depend entirely on the circumstances of the case to see what is needed uh, uh, for that particular family. And a key element here is building the family's resilience so that they are better able to cope uh, in the future with the challenges that they face and of course sadly there will be many challenges faced uh, by particularly young parents today in my constituency and uh, in that of Jenny Ruth and uh, indeed across Scotland uh, further to uh, the great difficulties that Tory austerity is inflicting on our population. 
At the same time, Home Start volunteers play a pivotal role in helping families access local services, such as housing or local mental health services, very important, as Jenny Garuth has said, the access to children's centres, to health services, also access to citizens' advice uh, in terms of, for example, helping them to obtain financial advice. The volunteer <coughs> may even look after a child to allow the parent to attend uh, relevant appointments or the volunteer may help with transport so that the parent can reach uh, the service that they need. Presiding officer, in conclusion, I would like to pay tribute to the staff of Home Start Cowton Beath, with whom I had the pleasure to meet uh, some months ago. Uh, I was hugely impressed with their dedication and determination to make a positive impact. Uh, these uh, workers do a very challenging job and it was clear that this is also an emotionally uh, draining job uh, and they do it extremely well uh, and they do make such a huge difference to the lives of so many families in my constituency. And finally, I would also wish to pay tribute to their fantastic army of volunteers without whom all this great work would not be possible. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Thank you very much, Ms Ewing. I call Alexander Stewart to be followed by Claire Baker. Mr Stewart, please. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. I'm grateful for the opportunity to take part, and I would like to thank Jenna Goruth uh, for bringing her members' business debate to the Chamber this afternoon. It is right and proper that we congratulate Home Start Glenrothes on reaching its 21st anniversary year, and I'm delighted that we have individuals from the organisation in the gallery this evening. I very much welcome the support that Home Start has provided over the years to help families and young children build better lives. My first association with Homestart was back in 1999 when I was elected as a councillor on Perth and Kinross. And in my capacity as Vice Convener for Housing and Health, I had the opportunity to meet staff and volunteers from Homestart Perth. Uh, and I was a regular attender at many of their meetings and their events and spoke at a number of their uh, events as well. Back in 2017, I was also delighted to visit Homestart Clack Manager, which was celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2018. Homestart is a charity which embraces many of the values I and others can concur with, and it continues to offer support and encouragement for individuals going forward. I also understand that Homestart relies heavily on volunteers and that the assistance that the charity offers in tailoring each individual family's needs and requirements is vitally important. They also support families in groups and provide them with opportunities for trips, for events, for parties, for access to services. And we've heard already about how they can help with mental health, with classes for cooking, uh, ensuring that well-being is taking place and also allotments. All of these give individuals the opportunity to expand their potential and support uh, the individuals that they're looking after. As many of us know, birth through this for the first few years uh, before they go to school, that a child's development and the environment in which that family home can be strongly determined out the opportunities and the life chances that many children are presented with. It is well known that children who are raised in a stable and loving family environment are much more likely to have a positive and healthy future. Uh, and the, the visits that Home Start do, the home visits, are vitally important to engage with individuals who may be having difficulties or may have a crisis to manage. And by doing that, they can support them through that. Homestart work extremely well uh, in ensuring that the volunteers are parents themselves, many of them, and they actually understand that the difficulties that are being suffered uh, and, and protect and support service users in that issue. They also work alongside parents in their own homes to help them cope with the stresses and strains of the life experiences that they're experiencing. Homestart volunteers make a huge uh, contribution and they help the skill, uh, the confidence and the strength to nurture and support, uh, uh, and that is there to ensure that people are protected. It is very important that Home Start excel and I would congratulate and commend them for all the work they do. As so, I follow uh, the highlights of many of the Home Start recent successes and myself, since I've been a member in this parliament, I have put forward some motions that have helped uh, to highlight the fantastic level of support that has been received by some of the organisations uh, that are there to help and support. I will continue to offer my support and encouragement across Homestead, across my region of Mid-Scotland and Fife. And I've already said that in Perth and Kinross and in Clackmannan, but also in Stirling and Fife, that are making a real difference for individuals and families. And that should be commended and congratulated. 
Organisations like Homestar are being needed more and more due to the hectic lifestyles of many individuals, but they are there to support and nurture and make sure that life chances and life opportunities are there to support well-being. Each and every day, volunteers and staff go that extra mile to ensure that families have that safe and secure environment which is, uh, ensures that they thrive in the lifestyles they have. I wish Homestack Glenrothes all the very best for its anniversary and its 21st year and I know that uh, they will continue to support and volunteers back up when, and we have to work together. The Scottish Government, the councils, the third sector, they all have a part to play in ensuring that we continue. So I look forward to seeing it go from strength to strength. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. Thank you very much. And I call Claire Baker to be followed by Rona Mackay. Ms Mackay is the last speaker in the open debate. Ms Baker. Uh, thank you, President Officer. It is a pleasure to speak in this evening's debate, and I thank Jenny Gilruth for securing the time in the Chamber. As an MSP for Miss Scotland and Fife, I have visited Home Start across my region. It is a few years since I last visited Glenrothes Home Start, and it was good to hear from Jenny Gilruth about their recent activities and the support they continue to provide to families in that area. I would like to add my congratulations and very best wishes to Homestart Glenrothes on their 21st birthday and thank all the staff and volunteers who make the organisation what it is, a welcoming, inclusive, caring support for families with children. All Homestarts offer support to families in a variety of situations. They can provide valuable support to families who are new to an area and have no family locally, families struggling with poor mental health, families perhaps coping with bereavement and loss, and families where there are child protection concerns. Homestart Glenrothes are well known in their community and that is reflective of the presence of Homestarts throughout the UK. There are 32 Homestarts across Scotland. Glenrothes is part of a network of Homestarts in Fife and I'm pleased to have visited North East Fife, Kirkcaldy and Leavenmouth Homestarts. As well as a 21st birthday for Glenrothes, 2019 marks 25 years for Homestart Kirkcaldy. Like Glenrothes, they value their volunteers, and I would like to take the opportunity to recognise the commitment of Mary McEwitt, who has volunteered for them for 20 years. Her years of dedication to the organisation is also reflected in the valuable commitment of Fiona Hasty and Elizabeth Cook, who have volunteered for 11 years each. All volunteers attend a preparation course, and they are matched to the families they work with, as it is a relationship based on trust and understanding. As well as the one-to-one -one work, Home Starts offer a variety of other activities. And I'm pleased to see that BBC Children in Need are supporting a family support group offered by Home Start Kirkcaldy. And I recognise organisations that support the work of Home Start, as well as the efforts of their volunteers and supporters and fundraising. As Jenny Gilruth has highlighted, Home Start Glenrothes supports between 60 and 70 families at any given time. And as part of their birthday celebrations, Kirkcaldy Home Start is recognising they have supported almost 1,000 families over the years. The importance of the work of charities such as Home Start to supporting families and children in Fife cannot be underestimated. We have previously in the Chamber highlighted the work of Gingerbread, of the YMCA, and on Friday I went to visit PLUS and Stirling, who support children and young people with a disability. These are only a few of the organisations which provide invaluable support to families and provide a service which invests in families, helps build confidence and parenting skills, provides opportunities for young people and much more. The work they do supports the efforts of social work, of the health service, of education and employment services and can help prevent people from reaching crisis situations where they would need greater statutory support. Although this evening is a celebration of all that they do, we must recognise the financial situation they operate in. Without them, there would be a greater strain on other services, and yet too much time is taken up by funding applications, which are often complicated, too short-term and too project-focused, and having to justify their value to overstretch local authorities who are constantly looking to deliver less for more. This is a common pressure faced by charities providing valuable services in our communities. They are a resilient and determined group of organisations who have to face the uncertainty of funding, but they still achieve so much. Third sector organisations like Home Start are able to be flexible, responsive and innovative in the support they offer. For example, Home Start Leavenmouth have just started a pilot perinatal service as they identified the number of young mothers experiencing mental health difficulties and they recognise that 80% of their referrals are due to child or parental mental health. Home Starts across the country are often working at the sharp end of family services and they report they are seeing an increase in the complexity of needs faced by families and families facing several challenges. 
but Home Start consistently provide quality support, offer guidance and help build healthy, happy, connected families. And I thank them all very much for that this evening. Thank you very much. And I now call Rona Mackay. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm grateful to my friend and colleague Jenny Gilruth for bringing this debate to the Chamber and I look forward to attending the reception for Home Start Glenrothes she's hosting tonight. What better way to highlight the great work that they do than by celebrating their 21st birthday? The help they have given over those 21 years is inestimable to so many families. Presiding officer, we all want children to have the best start in life. The Scottish Government's groundbreaking baby box and best start grants are testimony to our commitment to make this happen, as well as our transformation of early years education. But we, know, we all know children can be born into circumstances where their parents need just that little bit more help, some practical, friendly support in their own homes to get them over the roughest of times and level out the playing field for their children. Home Start's a local community network of trained volunteers and expert support helping families with young children through those challenging times. The organisation was first started in 1973 by Margaret Harrison. The first one in Scotland began work in Perth in 1984. Margaret believed that supporting a family was best done in their home where it can be shaped to the needs of the entire family. She realised that if parents get support and friendship from another parent, they'll be better equipped to learn to cope with the problems life can bring and will be able to give their children the best possible start. They support parents struggling, as, as we've heard, to overcome their own troubled backgrounds in order to do the best uh, they can for their children. Home Start sees firsthand the harm that children can suffer when they experience trauma, abuse or neglect at an early stage of their development and in many ways their volunteers were at the forefront of the ACES movement before it even had a name or the high profile that thankfully it has now. They have a local community network of over 1,000 trained volunteers uh, who support 3,000 families and nearly 6,000 children every year. That's pretty incredible. There are 31 branches in Scotland and the nearest one to my own constituency in Eastern Bartonshire is Glasgow North based in Mary Hill who do a fantastic job. Uh, some of the issues they deal with are families struggling with postnatal depression, isolation, physical and mental health problems, loneliness, bereavement and many other issues. And they receive the support of a volunteer who will spend around two hours a week in a family's home supporting them in the ways they need. The volunteers are non-judgmental, friendly and professional and support is tailored to the needs of each family. Much thought and care goes into matching a family with the right volunteer. And they too now also welcome dads, granddads and male carers who need support to join the group. So in conclusion, presiding officer, I'm going to let the facts speak for themselves on the benefits of Home Start. A survey of clients said that after they engaged with the service, 95% felt their child's emotional and physical well-being had improved. 93% felt, felt less isolated. 95% felt healthier and 94% felt more involved with the child's development. I don't think any organisation could boast a better testimony than that. So happy birthday, Home Start Glenrothes, and thanks to all Home Start branches for the amazing work that they do to help make Scotland the best place to grow up. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I now call on Marie Todd to close the government. Minister, please. Presiding officer, like other members across the chamber, I want to thank Jenny Gilruth for um, tabling this motion and for highlighting the important work of Home Start in Glenrothes and the Home Start Network in Scotland. Um, I'm delighted to welcome some of you to the chamber this evening. It's really great to have you here with us. I've had the pleasure and privilege of visiting many Home Starts across Scotland and I've seen the powerful work that you all do um, firsthand. It really is a lifeline to those who need your help. I would also like to take this opportunity to send um, Home Start my best wishes for a successful parliamentary reception this evening, happy birthday, um, which is highlighting the importance of perinatal mental health during Mental Health Awareness Week. Maternal mental health is a key priority for the Scottish Government. We know that as many as one in five women are affected by mental health problems in the perinatal period. And in Scotland, that means 11,000 women are affected every year. Being a parent is one of the hardest and yet one of the most important jobs that anyone can take on. The challenges are even greater for families um, who are already coping with additional challenges in their lives. And 
Home Start volunteers in Glenrothes and right across Scotland make a really vital contribution to supporting these families to achieve the best possible outcomes for their children. As you know, it's the Scottish Government's aspiration to make Scotland the best place in the world for children and young people to grow up. And the implementation of the National Parenting Strategy is key to driving this ambition. By championing the importance of parenting and by strengthening the support and offer to parents and by making it easier for them to access this support. We've made significant progress around commitments on extending the provision of early learning and childcare by increasing the provision of free childcare, which will be further increased to 1140 hours for three and four year olds from August 2020. We're improving antenatal and postnatal support, widening access to relationship support, developing parent club website as a reliable source of information and advice for families and continuing national play talk read and book bug programs, encouraging and supporting families to develop positive nurturing relationships with their children from the very start. By the end of last year, we'd expanded the health visitor workforce by at least 440 since March 2014. We're also expanding the family nurse partnership programme by investing around £16 million per year, reaching up to 3,000 families at any one time. We also recently launched our much loved and redesigned baby box, helping to give every child in Scotland an equal start in life. All of these actions make a real and practical difference for families. Homestart Scotland are one of our key stakeholders and delivery partners in implementing the national strategy and they're funded by the Scottish Government through the Children, Young People and Families Early Intervention and Adder Adult Learning and Empowering Communities Fund. In the four years that this funding has been running we've provided just under £800,000 to Homestart Scotland. We recognise the important role that third sector organisations like Homestart Scotland play in supporting children and families right across Scotland. In the last year alone, the Scottish Government's awarded over £5 million to a wide range of third sector organisations which support children, families and communities across Scotland. In addition, over £2 million was invested in 2018 to continuing funding for national programmes supporting children like the Play Talk Read and, and Book Bug. I'm delighted that the Deputy First Minister recently announced the Families and Communities Fund, which will provide up to £16 million per year to focus on early intervention and prevention and to improve outcomes for children, young people, families, adult learners and communities right across Scotland. Now that three-year fund will provide more certainty and stability for third sector organisations to plan and deliver services. I earlier I touched on um, perinatal mental health and because it is Mental Health Awareness Week, I want to finish by highlighting our investment of 50 million through the, the programme for government commitments. I hope this shows that we are determined to improve the recognition and the treatment of perinatal mental health in this country. I would also like to mention the issue of stigma, which is something which I think is still a reality for many women experiencing poor mental health in the perinatal period. I want Scotland to be a place where it's okay to speak out about poor mental health after you've had a baby, where women and their partners don't feel scared or ashamed to ask for help about how they're feeling. I know that the volunteers at Home Start Glenrothes and Home Start Scotland make a huge difference to families and that includes providing support with mental health issues. I'd like to congratulate them again on their anniversary and wish them all the very best in their vital work supporting families in Scotland. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes the debate and I close this meeting of Parliament.